So in this video, we are going to prove by induction that n factorial is greater than 4n squared, take away 2n for all integers, n greater than or equal to 5. So, step one, prove that it's true for the base case, which is this n equals 5. OK, so the left-hand side, we've got 5 factorial. So let's plug that into calculator. 5 factorial uh, is 120. And in the right-hand side, we've got 4 lots of 5 squared take away 2 lots of 5. So 5 squared is 25. 4 lots of that is 100. 100 take away 10 is 90. So 120 is greater than 90, so it is true for n equals 5. Okay, so that's that bit sorted. Step 2, we're going to assume that it's true for n equals k. So k factorial is greater than 4k squared minus 2k. That's our assumption. Step three, prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So we're going to replace the n with k plus 1. So we get k plus 1 factorial on the right-hand side. Oh, sorry, on the left-hand side. OK, so k plus 1 factorial we understand to be k plus 1 times by k factorial. Now, uh, we know, well, we've assumed that k factorial is greater than 4k squared minus 2k. So k plus 1 being a positive integer multiplied by that means that that must be greater than k plus 1 times our 4k squared minus 2k. So multiplying both sides by the k plus 1. So what do we have here? We have um, k times 4k squared. So 4k cubed. k times minus 2k is minus 2k squared. One lot of 4k squared and one lot of minus 2k. So tidying that up, we've got 4k cubed plus 2k squared take away 2k. OK. Now, preferably, what I want to get to is that k plus 1 factorial is greater than 4 lots of k plus 1 factorial. Uh, sorry, k plus 1 squared, rather. Take away 2 lots of k plus 1. So substituting uh, each of the n's for k plus 1. OK? So this is what we want to show. So what I want is to get this as 4 lots of k plus 1 squared minus 2 lots of k plus 1 and then add on all the other terms that will get me to this expression here. And then I could show that this bit is greater than the 4k plus 1 squared minus 2k plus 1. OK? That's what I want to get to. So what needs to go here? Well, um, I don't get a 4k cubed from any term there, so I'm going to have to have this extra 4k cubed. When I multiply this out, I'm going to get a 4k squared. Um, but I've only got 2k squared down, so I'm going to have to take away 2k squared. I'm going to get uh, an 8k from there. Take away 2k, so 6k. But I want minus 2k, so I'm going to have to have take away 8k. And I've also got 4 lots of 1, so 4. Take away 2, which is 2, so I need to subtract 2 as well. So this should be the same as this. So my job now is to show that that is greater than 0. So if I look at 4k cubed, take 2k squared, take away 8k minus 2, and I set it equal to 0, OK? I'm going to plug that into my calculator. So cubic 4, negative 2, negative 8, negative 2. And we get that k would have to be uh, 1.78 minus 0 0.28 uh, and minus 1 um, 
well, minus 1.00, I guess, to two decimal places. Okay, so these are the three roots of that equation. Now, seeing as we're working with k going to be greater than or equal to 5, um, this is 0 at 1.78. This is a positive cubic. Okay, so I know that for a positive cubic, and it's intersecting the k-axis three times, then I've got the minus 1 there, the minus 0 0.28 there, and the 1.78 there. So the cubic curve is positive and above the axis for any value above that. So k, so 4k cubed minus 2k squared minus 8k minus 2 is greater than 0 for all k greater than or equal to 5. Well, all integers k, really. But it's true, actually, for all k greater than or equal to 5. And so this is greater than 0. And so we've got that plus something that's greater than 0 must be greater than that. And so it is proved. OK, and we are done. So as it is true for n is equal to 5, and if it is true for n equals k, we have shown it to be true for n equals k plus 1. So it must be true for all k, uh, for all n rather, greater than or equal to 5. OK? And so that completes this proof by induction.